The event hosted by Westside School is now in its third year and aims to recognise the issues affecting women whilst also celebrating progress. Addressing students from the two comprehensives and the Gibraltar College, the acting Chief Minister Samantha Sacramento highlighted that work on a five-year domestic abuse plan was well underway. The primary focus is on education, empowerment and prevention through education and empowerment. It's about breaking the cycle. It's about helping victims, supporting victims. And when we talk about victims, there's, we have to remember that there's not only one victim. There is, uh, it, it affects the whole family, it will affect children if there are children involved. But very crucially, we also work with perpetrators because that's how we truly break the cycle. But a lot of the work that we've done with, uh, with schools through the Department of Education has been very successful. And that is teaching about the importance of, of respect so that it doesn't lead to situations of, of abuse. And it's been taught in a way that's very sensitive so that we can reach out and pass the message on to each um, school in a manner that is age appropriate so as to make the strategy more effective. A working group to study gender equality and whether a gender gap exists here was established last year. But what type of progress has been made? The statistics that we have give us an overview. The statistics that we have don't necessarily show that there are huge issues in terms of a gap. But on the basis of the information that I have, I'm going to be looking at changing the procedures in the way that we gather those statistics so that I can look at it in an Im a more in-depth manner and that will hopefully give me more information and give me a more truer picture. We're already working with that, um, I'm working with my colleague the Minister for Employment to look at how can we, we can review the, the next employment survey because that's one of the outcomes and recommendations of the focus group that we've had uh, during the year. Are there particular areas though that stand out uh, already? We, what we're doing is that we're looking at different industries. Different industries will have um, different relevant features. There will be some sectors where women may work predominantly and we need to look at whether there are issues which may place them at a disadvantage. One of the things we're looking at is the way that we calculate salaries because um, a lot of women may work part-time. So we need to make sure that we are uh, looking at a true reflection of how things are calculated. We, it's, it's a technical process that we've, we've been looking at. The issue of stereotypes also highlighted, but how do you go about challenging these when sometimes uh, in a place like Gibraltar, for example, the culture is very much ingrained? We have uh, various strategies um, looking ahead to uh, this business here for us on how we can deal with breaking down barriers and breaking down stereotypes because it's just not acceptable for people to think that they cannot do things because they are a woman, so women don't feel empowered to do it, or people who make the decisions think that women are not appropriate to undertake that role or undertake that job. The theme for this year's International Women's Day is Press for Progress, encouraging collective action and change, something that was echoed by the minister, who advised the students to challenge any stereotypes and barriers. There were inspirational addresses from the pupils too, with the winners of an art and video competition, part of the event, presented with their awards.